It's a day five weeks in the making. Bancroft Elementary students are back in their classrooms. Hello and thank you for joining us this midday. I'm Jared Aarons. This morning, a homecoming for students who were forced out of their school when floodwaters ripped through campus. Today, ABC 10 News reporter Sierra Encinas was there as teachers and administrators welcomed them back to school, back to stability. It is a celebration at Bancroft Elementary. They are welcoming students back for the first time in five weeks to donuts, welcome back signs, and clean classrooms. It's the first day of school all over again for Spring Valley students like Ezra Hooker. When you woke up this morning, were you excited? For the donuts, yes. Ezra rolled out the red carpet for his classmates as they take a big step towards normalcy after floodwaters drowned out their daily routines on January 22nd. A moment the third grader calls scary. Like first we thought it was a game, but then the classroom started flooding and then they told us to go to the auditorium and then it was kind of like a river. The district tells us that 32 classrooms were flooded and 14 inches of water filled the school's courtyard. Van Cross students had no choice but to move their studies to the nearby middle school while cleanup efforts were underway. It was something different and we had um, like different things and stuff like that. And then we also got like, um, like fidgets and then we got recesses and different recess schedules. Recess is something Ezra is looking forward to today because he says he missed the playground at Bancroft. Ezra wasn't the only one who woke up excited. Thank you, thank you so much. His mom did too. So we just need to get you tape, huh? Okay, I got it. Oh, you got Other it? Yeah. Tape. Yep, perfect. Lucy Hasso is the school's Parent Teacher Association president and set up the celebration. A lot that comes into, you know, kind of being back on campus and again, celebrating all the hard work. I know it hasn't been easy for parents, for teachers, for families, Families, everybody's, you know, trying to make it work. And so this was really nice to just be able to know that that chapter is closing and we're back here at Bancroft. And the work does not stop here. The district is working on infrastructure here at the school in the case that another flood does happen. For now at Bancroft, Sierra Encinas, ABC 10 News.